developing quality management systems for construction companies. Prior to the commencement of construction works, contractors are required to prepare Project Quality Management Plan, or QMP, detailing the control procedures that is required to demonstrate its ability to consistently provide products and services that meets customer and applicable quality standard requirements. A QMP or Quality Management Plan specifies which procedures and associated resources shall be applied by whom and when to a specific project, product, process, or contract. The Project Quality Management Plan must comply with applicable ISO 9001 standards and contract specification for the project. Larger organizations may run several projects at a time and have a complex organization structure to support and administer the construction projects. This organization would also need a QMS or Quality Management System manual describing the way the business is managed in regards to quality management and ensure procedures are in place to warrant the quality standards of product or services delivered across the organization. Thus, in the construction industry, the quality management system documentation required comprises of a quality management system manual to direct and control the organization with regards to quality management and project quality management plan to direct and control the project in regards to quality management. A quality management system manual would clearly address all elements required by the ISO 9001 quality management system standards, describe the organization structure and outline the business purpose, define the management responsibilities company policies and objectives, describe procedures to deal with document control. The key elements of document control are approval, distribution and control of superseded documents. In addition, there must be evidence of control in the form of records. Describe procedures to purchase products and services required to deliver your project. This includes Procedures to select and engage subcontractors and procedures to manage subcontractors' work on site. Describe procedures to deal with non-conforming products, non-compliance to documented procedures, and actions required to eliminate the causes of non-conformities in order to prevent recurrence. Describe procedures for inspection and tests required in incoming goods, in process, and final inspections required to ensure that the quality of the product delivered is as per contract requirements. Describe the TP or technical procedures for each construction activity. The TPs would include inspection and test plans or ITPs with checklist to record inspection and test results. This is the most important element of quality management. Describe procedures to deal with training requirements for staff involved with the project. Describe procedures to deal with records creation, storage, and disposal according to specified requirements. Describe the standard forms required to record day-to-day -day activities. Detail the resources to be used, including management structure, personnel, and their training for the work. Describe personal responsibilities and authorities. Describe process control to be used to deal with the work and risk involved, including quality procedures and ITPs and associated checklists with methods for measurement or analysis. Describe methods to be used to monitor and audit implementation. Describe methods to be used to identify non-conformities and implement corrective and preventive actions. And describe methods to be used for document control and records management, including maintaining. Describe methods to be used for security or protecting or storing, identifying, retrieving, and otherwise controlling records for the periods required and then their disposal. 
A typical quality management plan would include a brief description of the scope of work associated with the contract should be documented. The description should be sufficiently detailed to provide persons unfamiliar with the contract an overview of the type of work being carried out and under what environment conditions. A brief description of the works program. This may be in a form of a bar chart, gun chart, or any other form of documenting works program. The QMP should outline the project management structure, responsibilities, standards, and control systems applicable to the contract to ensure quality requirements are adequately addressed. Refer to all standard operating procedures described in the Quality Management System Manual. Describe in detail the applicable technical procedures and inspection and test plans applicable to the products and services required by the contract. Options to develop quality management systems. You have few options available to get your construction quality management system, and they are You prepare your own system with the expertise and resources available in your organization. Following these guidelines and the ISO 9001 quality management system standards. You hire a consultant to draw for you. Or you get a template from providers on the internet and are tailored to specifics of your organization and project. This is very economical and best option. Tailoring the template by you and your team gives you ownership and stand understanding of the plan and confidence to implement it. The choice is yours. The bottom line is to have a system that is easy to understand and implement, written in plain English so everyone understands it, and compliant to ISO 9001-2008 Quality Management System Standards. If you don't have the expertise or resources to write a plan from scratch, you can get a Project Quality Management Plan or QMP with all those attributes on the internet at www.complianceleader.com.